I wish I was lazy, right? I, I right, right. But, but no, my... but, but this, and then later on, you're gonna be stealing people money out their purse. Oh, like you, I don't want to say this because you may have some scammers on here, but if scammers learn how eBay works, they could they could make they could make some money if they want to scam. <laughs> but you eBay. know what? I'm glad what? you said that because when I was looking up that Amazon stuff you was telling me, uh-huh. I, I typed in Amazon in uh, the Google search and I clicked on the first link I saw and I looked at the page. I was like, wait a minute, this was like Amazon page. It was one of them uh, fake scammer pages where you try to log in and they'll have your information <laughs> and stuff like that. I'm like, how Google go put that on the top of the thing? But pe- if you pay to be on the top of the search uh, thing, you'll be up there. No matter if your page is a scammer page or not. Do you so want you to, to hmm? do you want to tell you how people can scam eBay? How? <laughs> Go ahead. Go. Now you only can do this maybe one or two times and you'll be banned. <laughs> yeah. I but, think I know what you're talking about. Go ahead. But you could go to eBay, you could buy something and say you don't like it. And then eBay, <laughs> eBay give you motherfucking money back. <laughs> they 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 and they let you keep they may let you keep the damn model, or right. you mail it back, you mail it back and you put some fake shit in the box. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Back back in the day, they used to have Yahoo option auctions, and I used uh-huh. to sell stuff on there, and I was doing pretty good, and I kind of just got tired of it. And I think one time I was selling some sunglasses, and back then you would have the people would have to mail you a check or money order just because they didn't yeah. have cash you have stuff like that so once uh-huh. I, I got the check i was like i don't even feel like sending the sunglasses i just was like i ain't gonna do it you know so i just man brandon, <laughs> oh, brandon <laughs> come on now <laughs> <laughs> i just didn't want to do it i was like i'm, I'm over it as i'm done and i don't even remember what happened with it i think that was one of the last thing i sold just because i just got tired of it i was like you know what they just gonna have to eat that. I ain't about to do it. And I can't Did remember. Did you cash I, the check? I can't I can't even remember if I cashed the check or if it was a money order. Because you know, if you send a money order, it's it, that's it. You know, you it's no for the way most to, part for the most no part way to get your money back. Yeah. But, but, have you ever <laughs> I, I, that's that's what I did back in the day? Now I you know I ain't it. gonna say nothing like that because God comes <laughs> around and you, right, and I probably <laughs> paid for that, you know, karma. But you know, <laughs> being young, you do stuff, you know, you do stuff that's you know, not I'm gonna say shady. That's that's shady, but you you do stuff lazily and you try to get away with stuff. But that's just a part of growing up. I would tell you another funny story just because I, well, I was thinking about it. I I used to work at Food Line. You know, I used to work at Food Line. So for about a few weeks. Hmm? Yeah. Well, few no, weeks. no, 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 no. Food Line. I was there. I was there for a good two months. Like five, no, I was there. I was there longer than that. I was there. At least five months. I was there. All a good, a good. Only took it to rain one time. It rained one time. <laughs> I ain't working it that bad. Right, now. right, right. I wasn't the hardest worker back then, especially one of those jobs. But anyway, you you might know this. I can't remember if you know this or not. But anyway, I'm pushing the buggies. I'm bringing them in or whatever. I find somebody purse outside. I said, "Oh shoot!" I threw the purse in the car. So later, like on my lunch break, I went through the purse. I saw it was like. I think it was like $250 in the purse. I was like, damn, I came up. So oh, I turned, Brady, I, I, I'm, t- I'm just telling you, I'm telling you what happened. All right. <laughs> so, I, so I turned the purse in. I can't remember whether the person got um got the purse or came back and got the purse. And we just told them the money was gone. Because I think they was asking about the money. I had went ahead, blew the money. I think I got um my system and stuff like that, but... As soon as that happened, I, I felt really bad about it. I was like, dang, I can't be doing stuff like this. Just because when you when you do something and you know it's wrong, but you do it anyway out of greed, it'll eat at you. And like I say, some I people still, eat. Some yeah, people yeah, well, eat. well, that's I guess that's true. Not everybody's like that, but uh-huh. moments like that, you kind of it kind of defines who you are. Either you're gonna be going down the dark path or you're gonna be going down the lighter path, per se. Well, so, the question is, Brandon, did you change your ways? Because you talking change like this. You talking like this. I don't know. I can fuck with you, man. <laughs> right. I'm just telling you younger, younger Brandon. I'm I don't fuck you. with you back there. I know you like that. <laughs> right. But but it's some stuff like that it happens in your life. Not to everybody, but it's like, wow, like I really did that. And, you know, that's why I am who I am today. Just because I, I know how that feels. That's always going to stick with me. 
Like that lady could have needed that money. You know what I'm saying? Like I could, yeah, yeah, I could have brought. <laughs> She probably did, right? And that's what I'm saying. So, dollars back then was a lot. That's how many hours? Wait, hold on, hold on. I'll go, I'll go show our age. <laughs> break a calculator up. I'll go break a calculator up because <laughs> you make five dollars an hour, but you can bring home four dollars. So, 250, 250 divided by four. Later, had to work 62 hours to get that two fifty. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> right. And doing stuff like that, being shady, I, I miss my blessings. I miss some blessings I could have had. You know, doing, <laughs> being fast and trying to rush the process. Like, you gotta, I should have stayed at Food Lion, worked hard, got those things instilled in me. But, you know, you want to be lazy and I'm not, not going to say I'm lazy because I wasn't lazy, but, you know, Working a job ain't easy, especially when you in high school, you don't you're not used to that. Like those kind of things shape you and they be, you become somebody different. What you mean working a job ain't easy in high school? Brandon, you didn't have to pay listen, no bills listen, at your house. Listen, but but you don't know that as a teenager. You, by the way, you was always cutting grass and doing stuff like that with your dad prior to, you know, getting your first job. You had already did some real work. That was my first, I'm not going to say first because I've done some small summertime stuff, but that was my first real job. So that hit a little different. I'm not going to say I couldn't do it, but okay, I, I took it for granted. You know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, and I, I think that's, I think that's something important with black fathers. Like your dad had a business. He had you working. You could have just been laying around, but no, you was out with your dad working. I Bill wish I was later, character. right? I, I right, right. But no, I, but, but this, and then later on, you're going to be stealing people money out their purse. With, <laughs> out of your, with your thing. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you you miss out on some of those growing moments, like growing into a man, you know, like my father wasn't present. So my, my, my mindset was a little different. You know, you had you had your father. So certain things was instilled in you. You know what I'm saying? Only oh. fucking working hard with mosquitoes on your ass. <laughs> That's what well, those are saying. good lessons. Those are good lessons. Like I well, said, I, hmm? go ahead. I can't say I'm not afraid of hard work. I've done it for so many years. Mm -hmm. And since I got this new position I'm in, this is the first time in my life I don't have to break my ass. <laughs> and and it's a good feeling. Right, right. It's it is. It is. I don't have to be on call. I don't have to work 12 hours, 15 hours, 16 hours, 20 hours. I work mm -hmm. eight hours. I don't have to worry about people killing themselves at work. Mm -hmm. I just do my own thing and I clock the motherfucker out when I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, but you have to get to that good. point. It's like, you know, and you won't be able to appreciate it without working hard and sweating and breaking your back and stuff like that. Cause it's a lot of people that just get into those positions that you have just off the bat. So they don't understand how good they have it. Like somebody will have your job and not know they'll be stressed out and aggravated and think they got the worst job ever. 